The hardwood industry in West Virginia has such a wonderful history in our state. We have one of the most forested states in the nation and the uh, opportunity to utilize those products in the downstream manufacturing processes as well as other utilizations for our hardwoods is a premier industry in our state. The wood industry in West Virginia is actually one of the top 10 manufacturing sectors, also one of the top 10 growth areas. It's a sustainable manufacturing process. One of the great advantages that we have in West Virginia, frankly, being in the Eastern Time Zone and our wonderful location here from a geographic perspective, we are within 500 mile radius of 50% of America's population and 30% of the Canadian population. And so those who are seeking to uh, have ready access to markets, lessen the supply chain distance and so forth are perfectly situated in West Virginia. So we hear this a lot. We hear why West Virginia? Um, the quality of life is second to none here. I think the cost of doing business is very favorable. Our people are hardworking and friendly people. Hardwood industry is a cultural fit for the people of West Virginia. In other words, when one of our uh, state citizens gets one of these great jobs in the hardwood industry or in any of the other manufacturing downstream industries, they keep that job at a higher retention rate than any other place in America. That's how devoted our people are to these jobs and the opportunities being provided with our natural resources. And location. I mean, location is everything. We've learned so much from COVID and you know, the supply chain issues, the transportation issues, the cost of transportation that's going up. This is a great place to be for so many reasons. There are obviously 50 states in America, and uh, if we're competing against any other state, uh, there is essentially no state that can compare with our geographic location. If all things being equal there, we will next move to our tax policy, we'll move to our uh, job retention and capabilities, we'll move to our education system, and then we'll finally, we have a West Virginia closing fund that will enable us at the West Virginia Department of Economic Development to close the gap that we might have with any other state. We will not lose when we're competing on level playing ground with any other state in America.